is singing. It's singing and it's tasty. It's tasty and it's spicy. And it's good for you. I've been making raised Polish fire for about 20 years. Uh, I love to eat and I love to cook. I grew up in an American Polish household in the Detroit area and the food my mom made was great, very nourishing but very bland. So when I left home and went to college I started experimenting and I got introduced for the first time to spicy food. Uh, as a Polak I didn't get much of that. So after college when I settled down and started having family I started experimenting with different recipes and I took about 10 years of experimentation before my wife Vicki finally said you're experimenting enough write this recipe down people love it and that's how Ray's Polish Fire was born so Ray's Polish Fire has made with 10 ingredients nine of the 10 ingredients are certified organic and they include organic shoyu organic apple cider vinegar organic molasses organic lemon juice and ume plum vinegar. Also, Ray's Polish Fire has five organic herbs. One of the secret so-called ingredients is organic turmeric powder. Organic turmeric is a wonder herb. It's amazingly uh, intense flavor that gives Polish Fire some of its unique flavor. It's also very good for the immune system. It fights cancer. It's uh, anti-inflammatory. Some of the other organic ingredients include organic garlic granules. It also contains organic ginger, which is very good for your digestion and your immune system. And the only thing that's really hot, Brian, in Polish fire is the organic cayenne pepper. And uh, it's lovely stuff, organic cayenne. It stimulates the mucosal membranes in your mouth in other areas, but it doesn't irritate. We make it and bottle it here, and then I, uh, Vicki and I distribute it ourselves in Michigan, and we sell it to co-ops and natural food stores and cafes. The Keweenaw Co-op sells more Polish fire than any other place right now. Uh, the Sweetwater Cafe in Marquette sells and promotes Polish fire uh, in a big way for us, as does the Marquette Food Co-op. Uh, there's a, a lot of other venues in, in the Upper Peninsula that have Polish fire. Uh, the newest one is Econo Foods in Houghton. And uh, they've just picked it up in the last few weeks and it's selling really well. Uh, we do have a distributor in Wisconsin and Minnesota area. We only retail the five ounce bottle with the shaker cap and the woozy insert. But to, to friends who use a lot of Polish fire, we do have provide some pint bottles to people who use a lot. And there are a few people who use it so much that I've been selling it to them in gallons directly. Personally, I don't like really hot things. I won't eat jalapeno or habanero hardly ever, and I won't touch a ghost pepper. Uh, my goal in making Polish fire was to make a sauce that you could use on a wide variety of foods in different circumstances that doesn't overwhelm with heat, but has deep flavor. And I don't know how people rate hot sauces. On a zero to 10 scale, I would give it a five for heat and a 10 for flavor is what I would do. I like Polish fire, I like Polish fire, you might like it too. Raise Polish fire hot sauce.